It's Madden NFL 24, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Denver Broncos and the Buffalo Bills, and it comes your way next. Well, there is a brand new stadium starting to take shape just across the way, but for now, the action is here at Highmark Stadium in Buffalo, New York. Today, we've got a fun AFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Denver Broncos taking on the Buffalo Bills. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Uh, Charles, here in Buffalo, they love their Bills, and for good reason. They're guys, without question, one of the favorites to lift the Lombardi Trophy in Vegas come February. And you mentioned with good reason, because we know their quarterback is one of the best players in the league, but this is an overall team built to win, especially when we get into the playoffs. Offense, defense, coaching staff, They've been knocking on the door for a while. They want to find their way through and get to the Super Bowl. And then for our visitors, the Broncos, 5-12 was their record last year. One of the bigger underperforming teams in the league. Injuries to guys like Javante Williams certainly hurt. But what do you think they need to do, Charles, to turn it around? They need to build a more cohesive offensive line. They've struggled in that spot for the last couple of seasons. And a defense that's often very good has to tackle better in the open field. to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. Well, here come the Bills for their first possession, led out by their 27-year-old quarterback in year six. It's Josh Allen. And it just feels like Allen has the Bills on the cusp of something great. Another 13-win season last year, and they're officially perennial favorites in the AFC. Behind that effort, continued excellence from one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Allen looking to throw it right at the outset. Caught right side, Davis. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Here's Allen. Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. Now he's free at the 35. And they will finally stop him, but a great return. Gets that football all the way down to the 16-yard line. Brand, I wonder if someone's down there checking on the head coach right now because he might be in a little bit of shock after what just transpired. Instead of a lengthy opening drive to deal with, this guy stepped up and stole that drive away. Momentum on their side now. How will they attack on offense? Well, the Broncos offense gets set to go to work and at the helm in his second season wearing orange and blue, Russell Wilson. And similar to his nickname, Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills, the ability to throw from the pocket and extend plays and throw on the run. Not to mention an absolute winner. Usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. A man who was lost for the year in week four last season. Here's Javante Williams. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play? and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. There's Wilson to throw. 
to the end zone, but it's incomplete. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. The kick by Lutz is good. And the Broncos, the first to grace the scoreboard. It's 3 zip. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. the main field goal lets to kick it away on the return Deontay Hardy now Hardy on the return and taken down just past the 20 at about the 21 yard line so here come the Bills out for their second drive their second drive here the ball game Charles remember last time they threw the interception but the defense held up it bent a little but didn't break only giving up the three points yeah, obviously they left some points on the table there their last time out, but boy, they have to thank their defense for holding the opposition just three after they threw the pick. Their turn now, back out on the field, put together a good drive and get some points of their own. Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. With these run pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. Play action. Now it's Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. That crossing route is so effective when you hit it just right because you get a guy on the move, and then we see the end result there. It's a nightmare for the defense. They got a guy with a full head of steam. Not only does he catch it, but he picks up additional yardage after it. Operating from the red zone now, Allen. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. He'll wind up losing three there on the sack. Good pressure, and it's second down. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. And it's caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eye Dropped at the one. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Murray will take this over the line. Touchdown, Buffalo. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. An extra point by Bass, up and good, and that makes it a 7-3 lead.
to the touchdown. Bass to kick it away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. play fake here's Wilson and that is incomplete took a shot there on first down but he couldn't reel it in that son's gonna be a factor all game long I'm not sure it made a difference on that one but it's something to think about on all deep throws during this time of year an incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25 here's Wilson That is incomplete. Rocky started throwing the football. He's missed now on his first four attempts. I'm eager to see what his demeanor is going to be from this point forward because the best ones, they missed the first 15 attempts and they think they're going to hit the next 15. Let's see if he has that type of an attitude. On third down, Wilson. Two drives and zero first down. This defense, they've come to play. They're the better of the two units here so far. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Deontay Hardy back deep. That's pulled in at the 32. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. For the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. DJ Jones busting through to get him for a loss of six. Tremendous read and reaction by the defensive tackle, and frankly, partner, it's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback. Never bought the play-action fade. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. It'll be a pickup of 14, but they're still a little bit short as it brings up fourth. I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker that the defense almost relaxed and said, we've got this covered. And then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch. And now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. And Denver getting set to take the field. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's see if they can do better here on this drive. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their own 20-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson, he'll find its tight end. It's Adam Troutman. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Call that a very strong gain of 24. 
And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Up the middle, it's Williams. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Options galore here, second and a few inches. Now a toss left side, it's Williams. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Not your normal call in short yardage, but the toss works very well there. Big people out in front being physical, and they pick up a first down. On first down, Wilson. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Now it's Wilson. And he gets it down to the 32. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Throwing again here, Wilson. That's caught left side by Judy. And all the way home for a Bronco score. Jerry Judy, 32 yards. And the Broncos have regained the lead. An excellent, long, sustained offensive drive. And now they can look across the field and see a defense that looks a little bit beaten down. Right now, as an offensive coordinator, you're thinking to yourself, can I dial up the knockout punch? Will Lutz on for the point after. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it culminates in a touchdown by the Broncos. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen getting the football to Davis on an out route. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Allen. He's got this 
one complete to Sherfield. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 26 big yards on that one. It's another first down. Now a man in for an expanded role in 2023. It's James Cook. And let me tell you, that wasn't as easy as it looked. Dancing away and moving forward for six yards. Brings up second and four at the 21-yard line. Here now, second and four. Allen going to fire quickly and get it to Diggs out wide. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Here's third and three. Allen going to throw. Touchdown, Bills! Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs. And the Bills have taken the lead. And on this play, he just made a great route. The quarterback had to deliver it, sure, but a great route run there. And Brandon, this is what the best receivers do. They work on their route running because it's one thing to have athletic ability, but to really get open, you have to set up defensive backs with different routes and be precise in your cuts. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it's finished off by the touchdown by Stephon Diggs. to the touchdown pass to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is gonna have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they wanna get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Well, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it, and his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Now, these guys hardly got a chance to catch their breath after the quick turnover, but I doubt they're complaining much. Especially with the field position they get to start with. I wouldn't be complaining either. I'd want to get right back out there and get after them because now you have an opportunity to make a big play. I'd say let's be aggressive and go after him. So after the INT, it's Allen. That is caught. Kim Kane with it. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. The end result, 21 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the five now, second and a yard. 
to the air. Allen forced out to his left. They'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen, a five-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, no surprise to anyone who watches the NFL there. Remember, Josh Allen, seven touchdowns on the ground last year, added one more in the playoffs. In fact, the active leader in touchdowns by a quarterback with 39 coming into 2023. The big horse rides again. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes it a 21-10 game. to the touchdown Bass to kick it away this fielded right at the goal line and he won't quite make it to the 25 Denver's offense now set to go and for this offense Charles you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out they threw the interception on the very first play and you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Well, that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Now Williams going to get it again on second down. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It's a loss of four. Now third down. That's a nice job there, foiling what all offense is trying to do, which is control the defensive end in the running game. They want to get to the outside, and if he keeps himself free, stays on his feet, he can make a play just as he did there. From the gun on third down, Wilson. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And when the time has expired on the first quarter. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Broncos football as we begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a fourth down coming up. Riley Dixon now to punt it away. Here's Hardy set to return. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Buffalo offense back out ready to go. and the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Beginning this series with a handoff to Cook to the 43, second down. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Second down and eight. Here's Allen to throw it. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. Short completion, just four yards, and now it's third and four. Now Allen. Quick throw there is incomplete. 
like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. And Denver getting set to take the field. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They begin the drive with Williams. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Solid way to start the drive, 13 yards, picking up the first. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. He's brought down by Micah Hyatt. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 50-yard line. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's the second down and four. From midfield now, here's Wilson. That's to the rookie, Marvin Mims. First target, first catch, and a first down. Here's Wilson to throw. And this one complete again to Mims. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time 18 more and a first down. Here's Wilson. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Now a give up the middle to Williams. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Going for it all. throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. The kick by Lutz is good. And that'll make this an eight-point game. Maybe a little fortunate there. That was leaking a little. Maybe leaking a lot, but he got it. Yeah, he actually was able to make it work. How about the body language, though, right? As he watched that ball leak to the right, trying to, trying to bring it back in and had just enough to get it done. Following the main field goal, Lutz to kick it away. 
And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. And this one nearly picked off. Yeah, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. The name of the game is always on defense, put pressure on the quarterback. And that's exactly what they've done today. It looks like they've got him a little bit rattled. That would have been the second interception in the first half. Allen again here on second and 10. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available in incompletion as a result. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This is third and 10. Now Allen. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. And that's a good job there of knuckling down as an offense. You're trying to avoid three and out at all costs. And after two straight incompletions, this one's on target, and they're able to keep the chains moving. First down, here's the run with Cook. successful throwing it around in this game that's allowed them to move the ball on offense but I gotta tell you to watch them run the football and successfully I'm not taking sides but to see the ball in a running back's hands oh that's football for me on play action Allen fights free at the five and he doesn't quite make it taking it with it Dropped at the one. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. This guy's proven himself to be one of the best in the NFL. He brings an added dimension to their offense with his ability to read defenses and know when he's able to pull it down and take off and go. Cook. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. I don't know if there's any other way to put it, but that play was blown up right from the snap. How about the guys on the defensive side of the ball? It's almost like they were in the offensive huddle. Yeah, it's one thing to stand him up from that one-yard line, pushing him back to the five, though. Wow. Yeah, I like what you just said there. Not just stand him up, but they end up making a play on the other side of the line of scrimmage. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Here's Allen. To the right side here caught by Kincaid. have taken a two-touchdown lead now. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury, and it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And the lead is up to 15 now. So that drive goes eight plays. And the gadget play gets him into the end zone.
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. So the Broncos coming out now. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. They go play action now. Wilson. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Tyler Matakavich buries him for a loss of 11 from his outside linebacker spot. Well, if the goal is to get back into this game, the offense is certainly moving in the wrong direction. This is certainly a case where one team needs big splash plays right now, but unfortunately, it's the other team that's getting them. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. From the gun, it's Wilson. And this will be incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's incomplete. Uh, that's well done defensively. They get the pressure they needed on third down. All the receivers are locked up tight, and they force that quarterback to just throw it away. Here's Riley Dixon now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. On the return, Hardy. 39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Bills ready to take over. And the Bills now with a first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. Throwing to start the drive. Allen on the slant. He's got Davis. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Here's second and three. Throwing now is Allen. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. My high school football coach was very fond of saying, you've got to meet force with force. And on a short yardage running play, that's what you're going to encounter. And how about them picking up the first down on that one? On first down, Allen. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. They ran that one well, and not only did it pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction.
but one important piece that didn't move incorrectly, the offensive line. Because when you're running this play, as he continued down the line of scrimmage, sometimes the lineman can wander downfield. And if you're more than a yard downfield, it's illegal to throw the football at that point. But they held their ground, held their spot, and turned it into a nice game. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Going to be some contact going on. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Allen now looks to throw. And will find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. I'd love to sit down at some point in our offseason and talk to these defensive coordinators in the red zone. Tight end is obviously a big threat, yet these guys continue to make plays. Is there any other way to stop them? Apparently not. In the red zone, like you said, that's your guy. They got it to it. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Deontay Hardy, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Bills are able to widen their lead here in this first half. All the receivers in the league are plenty good enough, otherwise they wouldn't make it in the NFL. But the ones that go to the Pro Bowl, they have refined route running ability. Bass on for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive in total eight plays, and it culminates in a Bills touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left. More than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he'll be out right at the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pickup here toward the end of the first half. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Throwing is Wilson. Man open, he's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. Here's Wilson. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Second and 10. Now Wilson. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half.
Again, Wilson. That's going to be caught by Judy. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Two yards to go, second down. Now it's Wilson. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Now Wilson. And this one is incomplete. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. Now Lutz for the field goal try. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And he missed it. It's no good. And the deficit will hold at 22. And now two problems as I see it. First, you missed the kick, which granted was a long one. But second, you set the other guys up with great field position and enough time to maybe get downfield and get a field goal attempt of their own. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And with decent starting field position, there may be only a couple completions away from field goal range. That's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. now on first down throw out wide is incomplete and you see the clock almost empty so this is likely the last play in the second quarter uh, give to cook out of the gun and he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in Orchard Park where the Bills taking the lead into the break. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far. But there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. The Bills got a terrific first half from the man on the cover, quarterback Josh Allen. He was downright amazing with three touchdown passes and another one scored on the ground for good measure. It'll be the Broncos getting the football first in this second half as they trail, and we are back underway. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Here comes the Broncos' offensive unit here as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. 
Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive? on that play sheet for any of those coordinators. They just don't have it, right? You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. Second and a couple. Now a 10th carry, here's Williams. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go for a touchdown. But the runs that really make it work are the ones where you just get what you need, right? And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. They run it again with Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot, and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 26. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. At that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. Now they'll toss it out right to Williams. Tackle made there by Jordan Poyer. Second and nine. Play action. Now Wilson. Right side, it's Manhurts, the tight end. They'll wind up getting just a yard. Third and seven now. To throw is Wilson. And that will be incomplete. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. Now Lutz for the field goal try. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. And this is just outside the right upright. It's no good, and the deficit will hold at 22. Wow, that qualifies as a bad miss because anything inside of 40 should be automatic. That's a big mistake right there. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And the Bills now with a first and 10 right at the 30. They start the drive with Cook. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. They may want to 
to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. He can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, second down. This defense could use a few more plays like that right now. It certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still want to move at a nice pace. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And he'll be down close to the first down marker as he gets this to the Broncos 32. 62 yards rushing for him now to this point. And while the guys with the ball are having a whole lot of fun keeping it on the ground, the guys on the opposite side, they are having zero fun. They've been getting pushed around the entire game and haven't found an answer yet to slow down the running game. Now on third and two, they're going to like to throw it out. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. We always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Show some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. Throwing on first down is Allen. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. So with a yardage on that completion, he's now right at exactly 300 yards on the game. And isn't that the magic number you get, all right? 300, that means it's going to go on a commemorative football to put on your mantle when they give you the game ball if your team wins. So much confidence flowing through him right now, throwing the football. I think it's permeated itself throughout the entire team. They feel good about what they're doing. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. On second down, Cook. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement, and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? Allen. And that is incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. This from 36 yards out. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will add on to their lead. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done.
so after knocking through the field goal here's Bass to kick it away and here comes a return from just beyond the goal line and the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Broncos are about set to go on offense. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. They'll try again from the 20 on second and 10. Now a handoff, here's Williams. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. 68 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Here comes third and about a foot. They go play action with Wilson. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. And you can tell just by looking at him that this offense is a frustrated unit. Things are really unraveling here. And as a head coach, time to earn your paycheck. You've got to find a way to keep it together as that brings up another fourth down. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Allen going to fire quickly and get it to Diggs out wide. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Allen going to throw. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 14 yards that time for number 14. Well, those backups on the sideline, they got to be eagerly anticipating the fourth quarter upcoming. Look at the size of the lead, how they're moving the football. This defense really struggling and giving up plays like we just saw. Yeah, the Stars have certainly done all they've needed to in this one, haven't they? But my question is, will he be able to resist the urge to continue to run things up a bit and get his main guys a few bonus stats before he calls them off the field? Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 23 yards on the play. The partner is still in the third quarter, but they've got this one well in hand and still airing it out with gusto and picking up some nice gains. And even in lopsided games like this, you don't really see starters get lifted or the foot come off the gas before the fourth quarter. No one wants to leave any doubt when they're playing well. They just want to continue the process. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. We're in the third quarter in upstate New York with a second and 10. A quick throw taken in by Diggs. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. And again, it's Allen. And that is 
is incomplete. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. He made his first, this from 47 yards out. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills will add on to their lead. I got to think, at this point, third quarter, if you're able to hold on to the ball, get three at the end, that's all you're looking for. I would agree with that because right now, this is a job well done by them. In fact, it's almost time for handshakes, a little dap on the sidelines, maybe even start to discuss post-game plans. And for the guys who haven't played yet, Go ahead and get loose. Your time is now. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. And coming out now, the Broncos. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, give them credit for trying, but there is no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading runs, and they set up to stuff the run and then executed. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. This will be caught. Judy. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. There's a nice pickup right there. And after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, so many times, defensive backs get caught playing the man rather than the football. But not in this case. That's an excellent play. Did exactly what you're supposed to do. Attack the football and help break up the pass. And yep, as a result, knocks it down. On second down, Williams. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 32. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This offense so far on third down, a pretty anemic, a very anemic one for nine thus far. This time they face a third and two. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. They've been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Wilson. Now a loose football, the ball comes out. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. The fumble on first down now, here's second down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. 
They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Play action. It's Wilson. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And he is caught, and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. So no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. And with the scoreboard against them here in the fourth quarter, this was definitely four down territory. Really nice job there of finding a way to get open, and a really nice throw. That sets them up with first and goal. Here's Wilson. Over the middle, complete to Judy. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. A four-yard gain brings up second and goal at the five-yard line. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. Up the middle, it's Williams. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. So now things get interesting on third and goal from the one. This almost becomes a Darwinian call, doesn't it? Almost survival of the fittest here. I know we can go all cliche. I'll go ahead and do it. Who wants it more here? And he'll get in. Touchdown, Denver. Mike Burton taking it in from a yard out. And the Broncos get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. And when the smaller guy can't power it across the goal line, Charles, sometimes you need to go with a fullback. They did. It worked. What's that thing about force and mass? How's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Force equals mass times acceleration. Oh, that's big time stuff. That's, that's from the same guy uh, the apple dropped on his head, right? <laughs> Lutz good on the extra point, and that'll cut the lead back down to 21. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. Well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. And when you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense that's really kind of geared to stop that play, your confidence has to rise. And now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 63 yards receiving for him now. And that last catch, good enough for a first down. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack. But you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, I think he continue to do so. 
Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well, but give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Allen to Diggs there for a Buffalo first. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And this throw incomplete. The defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. Alex Singleton making the play defensively. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Here's Sam Martin now, as he's on to punt for Buffalo. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. Wilson and the Broncos now with a first and 10 at their own 16. Throwing to start the drive, Wilson. And this one's gonna sail on him a bit, and it's incomplete. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers, another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know that there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They go play action now. Wilson. Ball oh, had his hands on it. Couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. Here's Riley Dixon now, standing just outside his own goal line. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. So good field position for the Bills as they come up first and 10 at the 40. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. 
And it's second down. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to. And right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score. But they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. And some space here. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and he'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And a solid run down inside the 30. 101 yards rushing for him now to this point. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with the lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that, plus three. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage, the stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. And I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. They'll run the counter with Murray. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Didn't get to the sticks, but that's an ideal carry there on first down, isn't it? I mean, now you're second and one. Although, you know, in the NFL, even if you picked up the first down, I don't think it's a big difference because the clock doesn't stop. Yeah, not like college. Right. If it's college football, you want to be, second and one is probably better than picking up the first down because in college football, the clock stops with every first down and actually aids the defense in that situation. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Just a gain of a yard, but it's going to set him up with a first and goal. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. Cook is in. Touchdown, Bills. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And that'll increase their lead to 28. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was James Cook capping all of that off with a touchdown run. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Denver's offense ready to go again. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. 
Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Now it's Wilson. It's complete to Williams. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. One last shot for Wilson. A short one to the tight end, Troutman. And he will have a Broncos first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. A higher scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League. But fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed up worked. Yeah, it certainly was fun to watch from our perspective. I'd like to be those defensive coaches, though. That wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan, they all scout, they all think they're prepared, but executing and stopping teams, that's another matter entirely. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.